Oh. Hey friends, I'm Glacey Sagustin with Spitigar TV and welcome to Classic Creators. In case you're unaware, this is where I sit down with a whole bunch of different talented individuals who are paving their own way, whether they be small business owners, content creators, or artists of any kind. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different. We're going to be sitting down with someone I consider a sort of mentor. His name is Gregory Roper II, and he is the senior multi-platform producer at News for Jax. Are we recording? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> now, what I associate with Greg, and what he prides himself in as well, is how he covers the local artists here in Jacksonville, Florida. He's also an Emmy Award winner for his coverage on a mass shooting at the Jacksonville Landing. So what we do is, you know, we edit VOs, uh, we edit SOTs for a live broadcast, we make reporter packages or anchor packages. Um, my job is to make sure that the work is being done, to make sure that um, the VOs are accurate. We share content with sister stations, so like we're owned by Grand Media, and under that umbrella, we have not only us, WJXT, but we also have WKMG in Orlando, we have KSAT and KPRC in Texas, WDIV in Detroit, we have WPLG down in South Florida. Um, we're also um, a CNN affiliate, so what we do with, for national stories, we have CNN we're probably going to have their own crews out there, so we can just get from their database. My duty is to make sure, once again, to ensure that the quality of the product is to company standard, making sure that my editors are doing their job as you're creating content, uh, managing, the, managing the content, who's doing what, um, exchanging files to sister stations, CNN affiliates. Man. This is a real smile, by the way. <laughs> well, so like I used to do art, you know, back when I was in high school. You know, art's been a part of my life since I was a kid. The arts is really important for people. Um, art can, um, you can learn a lot, you know, from different people. Conversations, you know, are created, you know, through artwork. It's a conversation waiting to happen. And I've always known Jacksonville to be a thriving art city. You know, the art community here is great. The thing is, though, that they lack coverage. I could be wrong by saying this, but I don't know if the news really cares about the arts. I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, I'm not a news person. I'm a production person. I'm a cultural person. News is not my thing. So when I go into these art galleries, like these past art shows that I've gone to like years ago, um, and they found, and people noticed that I work at the news station, they asked like, yo, can we get coverage? Can we get spotlight? And I'd be like, I don't know. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know, like, that's not what I do. An artist by the name of Dustin Harewood, you know, he's like, you know, I guess he saw a potential that I could do it, so I'll, we tried it out. And as you know, from that one, that one segment of Summon Substance back in 2018, if I'm correct, that was a huge success. So ever since then, it kind of like blew up, like, oh, okay, I guess I can broadcast artists. So yeah, like, I, I love promoting the artists here in Jacksonville, and I feel honored to do so. The fact that they trust me with their stories and with their artwork, I feel incredibly honored. I still replay that night when I won the Emmy. Um, it's because it was crazy. I am proud of that Emmy. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm even more proud of our protege. Her name is Sierra Erie. And when we hired her, she came in as a part-time multi-platform producer. And it was, I wanna say it was the year of 2018. That's when I got nominated for Hurricane Irma. Through that, nom with that nomination, that that allowed me to become the first MPP through the station's throughout the station's history of being an Emmy nominee. So when Sierra heard about that, she was like, and I, I still like I still smile about this. She told me to my face, I understand that you are the first multi platform producer that's an Emmy nominee, but I will be the second. So then fast forward to next year, um, with the mass shooting that happened that same year. When it was time to submit for the Emmys for twenty nineteen there was an executive producer who, who ran that. I remember I came to her and I told her that I'm gonna be submitting and also I want Sierra to submit. And she told me, don't tell Sierra about the Emmys. And I was like, why? And she said, I want you to win, but I don't want her to win. Because the fact that she's so young and that she's still new. <clears throat> so at that conversation, I went to Sierra. I said, stop what you're doing, log on to the Suncoast chapter, get logged in, become a member, and submit for the damn Emmy. So Sierra did submit, um, paid her fees, her membership fees, um, got nominated, along with myself and like, you know, I think maybe nine others. I think 11 of us won that. And uh, of course, you know, she won her Emmy. News for Jack starts right now with a breaking news alert. 
a mass shooting at the landing in downtown Jacksonville. During a video game tournament, at least nine people injured. Four others are dead, including the shooter. And sources... I was scared as hell. Cause there's, there's no, in college, there's no training for a mass, mass shooting coverage. There's no, training for, there's no class for that. I know how to do my job, but in that climate, I had really no idea. Like, I remember my, my hands were shaking at one point because I was like, what are we doing? What's going on? Where are my friends at? You know, like, like they're gamers. And not only that, though, but the experience. I, I had three part-time MPPs working that shift. Sierra's one of them, and she had the highest experience with only six months. I had one, Robbie, who was four months, and then Sophia had only like two months. All straight out of college. Exactly. And they're covering a mass shooting. It's cool to have the statue, like, you know, sitting in my house. It's really pretty. Um, but, like, you know, at the same time, it's bittersweet because people, there were lives lost. People died. If somebody were to call me for quest content, I feel bad saying no. Because of, the fact, because of the position that I'm in, because of what I can do. However, me being a multi-platform producer, it is not my job to provide coverage for artists. Like, I still get a check without covering the artists. I just do it, it's mostly on my own personal time. I just know from experience by living in the city and once being an artist that you know that the coverage is essential for an artist for growth. Reblog, repost, buy their work, uh, even donate. I know there's some artists like you know they have like you know a wish list or like you know donations like you know if you want to give like five dollars support them. Yeah I mean honestly I would tell you know anybody not being a hypocrite but like yeah like if you're going into multimedia production or if you're like you know being in media if you're not online and you're nobody. You know, this isn't like, this isn't the 1970s where like, no, social media doesn't exist. Whereas 2021, you need to be online. You're working to be somewhere people can look at. Cause you never know, like, you know, who could, um, who could be looking at your page. You know, like, you know, they see an interest in you. You never know. Most of my work was post through News for Jax. Um, cause I would give them the files and now I would have like the social media department, you know, upload the content, you know, and then like, you know, that just gives that person whoever more exposure. I mean, my handle is Von Trap Lord, you know, like, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Classic Creators. Again, if you want to find Greg on any social media, he's on Instagram at the handle Spawn Trap Lord, and you can find much of his work on News for Jax's page as well. If you want to find me, I'm on that same platform at Heart Shape Vanity, and I've just opened up a new portfolio account, and you can find that under my full name, Gracie Sagustin. My time here at Spinnaker TV is going to be coming to an end pretty soon, so if you want to see some of my work, head on over there, see what I get up to next. For more from Spinnaker TV, check out our YouTube channel, and our Instagram page too. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Until then, bye.